this is a sped up process of me creating 3D models for my next project. I'll tell you more about it in a second, but for now, you're looking at 3D model of Illicro RC050S HD 5 inch capacitive touch monitor with built in speaker and backlight controls. And 3D model of Raspberry Pi 4B. These two are the main components for my next build. Measurements are 100% correct and they should be, as there is no room for errors here. I am building a unit with 5 inch touch screen and for that I will need an enclosure. Once again, PETG seems like a good choice here. As we can see, it's rather a tedious task. But as always, I was determined to do it. And I'm doing it. Besides, I love designing things since forever. So this enclosure will keep my new build safe and protected. But what's the purpose of this build you'll ask? Well, I need a dedicated LCD screen that will run Digiview, so I can share my flights real time with bystanders or even currents. Just need to 3D print it. Wow! That was fast. Joke aside, I've got it printed by Fluid Design Printing Service, an amazing Joel. I have to say, I'm super happy with results. I just made few small adjustments and already updated my STL file. Like for example, this opening for easier SD card access. And changed button design. Added 2mm of support to these two tabs so they press on and hold LCD even better. I love this dual color print. Time to assemble this enclosure and see how everything fits inside. LCD unit fits like a glow. Taking out wireless USB receiver so it's not in the way. The way I've designed these two covers, they nicely click in place. Screws are not even required here. But I'm going to install them and advise everyone to do the same. using M3 screws. Sixteen millimeter ones. Let's put wireless keyboard receiver back. I'll need it for the mini keyboard I'll show in a minute. Project is done. Well, almost done. First, I'll show you how this unit works with Ubuntu and my mini wireless keyboard. And in a couple of minutes, I'll go through download and installation process of Digiview for Pi and demonstrate this unit in action. I will also show you this unit can run on power bank without any issues for hours. But the very first test unit will be powered with Raspberry Wall Charger. And this is Re Mini i8 Plus portable wireless keyboard with touchpad. Not required for this project, but good to have. It's also super affordable, 17 Canadian dollars only. Booting my Frankenstein contraption for the very first time. And we're in. Ubuntu is running. 
touchpad works fine. And my LCD touchscreen too. But none of this is actually required for my project. I'm simply showing that it works. My plan is to keep this unit as my dedicated DigiView kiosk. But the beauty of Raspberry platform is that I can switch from one OS like this Ubuntu to DigiView or any other OS or self-running app simply by swapping the SD cards. Note that additional power for LCD is not required here. It's all running through Pi's power supply. As promised few minutes ago, I'm demonstrating this unit running off of this Blue Hive 10,000 milliamps power bank. It powers Raspberry Pi 4B as well as this 5-inch LCD screen in the same time. Simply amazing. So with proper adapters we can run it off of LiPo batteries as well. I'll just use shorter USB cable and make a holder for my battery at the back. Super easy to carry around into the field so someone else can enjoy our flight sessions too. This is a short download and installation of DigiView for Pi walkthrough. Search for DigiView for Pi app. Go to DigiView GitHub. Finally, find assets section. Download the zip archive and wait until it's done. Locate the folder where you downloaded the file. And extract it to desired folder. This is the zip file, we don't need it anymore. And this is the folder where I extracted my zip file to with the image file inside. We're gonna need that file to burn the image to SD card. And for that I use Bellina Etcher app, but we can use Raspberry Pi Imager too. Locate the image we downloaded a few seconds ago. Select the target where you want to burn this image to, your SD card. And click flash. is burned.
turned to SD card and we got ourselves a bootable DigiView app. So now I have bootable DigiView SD card which will turn this unit into dedicated DigiView kiosk. I just swapped my Ubuntu SD card with DigiView 1. This is my DigiView TV now. Up will boot twice, showing getting ready message. We need to see DigiView logo without getting ready message. That's when DigiView is fully loaded and ready to be used. And that's now. We're in business, baby. To connect your DJI goggles to the DigiView unit, we'll use USB-C to USB-A cable. USB-C side to the goggles. side to the DigiView unit. It works! Some delay is expected. You don't want to use this for flying as your main FPV feed. But for spectating, this is more than good. This LCD is 16-9 ratio. But you'll notice screen is 4.3, that's because I fly in 4.3 ratio. If I switch to 16.9, LCD will reflect that as well. One useful tip. You can use your keyboard, right click to bring up the menu when you want to shut down DigiView. But even better, if you have touch screen like this one, you can touch the screen and hold it for a second. That too will bring the shutdown menu on screen. These are the components I used in this build today. Helicrow RC050S HD, 5 inch, 800 by 480 pixels, capacitive touchscreen with built in speaker and backlight controls. RE i8 Plus mini wireless keyboard with touchpad. And of course, Raspberry Pi 4B. I have 4GB version, but 8GB will be even more responsive. Always, this job would not be complete if it does not go through quality control. And for that, I do have my little QC parcel, our beloved cookie. You like it? Yes. Thanks for watching.